Hey there, my beautiful overachieving business mamas. Welcome to the Moxie Movement, where we're tearing down myths and propelling women like you to success, both in business and at home. I'm Sarah Greener, your guide on this journey, because I've walked this tightrope too. And together, we're here to help redefine what success looks like. Dive in for real talk, actionable steps, and a community that gets the hustle of juggling motherhood, wife life, and that entrepreneurial drive. It's time for a little moxie. Passive income in your small business is something I'm being asked about more regularly now than I ever have been asked about before. For me, it's a huge red flag. Hi, I'm Sarah Greener. I'm your host here at The Moxie Movement. I'm going to dive into why I find passive income in your business a really big red flag for me. Because passive means to do nothing. The definition of passive means not acting to influence or change a situation and allowing other people to be in control. I don't know about you, but I got into my own business not to be passive, but to be active. I find that in my life, when I'm being passive in something, it means I'm giving away my power. Now, I really understand that I've done that in times in my life. I really do get that there's been times where I've been passive in any particular area, any number of my highest life priorities. For the most part, I regret it. I prefer to take action, to be in control, or at least have a lot of influence in areas of the life that matter to me. And business income is one of them. Passive income was originally something that you invested in and you got a return on for for not having to do too much. So think like I invested in a property and it now has a rental income stream, or I invested in some stocks and shares and I now have an income stream of dividends. Both are relatively passive, but they are not completely passive. Every stream of income we have has required something from us. It has required us to do some form of action. It's required some effort, some learning, some time, some practice. If we choose not to do it ourselves, we have to pay someone else to do it. This is particularly true in terms of rental income and stocks and shares. If we're not actively managing our stocks and shares our portfolio ourselves we're paying someone else to do that via fees via an app but we are paying something for it which is an action that's not passive if we are managing our rental property ourselves that's not passive that requires an action we're going to have to maintain it we're going to have to make sure the tenants are happy we're going to have to go and check on the property If we're not doing that, we're going to, again, have to pay someone else to do it, which is also an action. I understand where the concept of passive income came from. I understand the idea that it would be really nice to earn income without having to do anything. But I haven't, in my 20-year journey, figured out how to be completely passive in any stream of income yet. Now, maybe I just don't know enough yet. What I'm saying to you is, that's going to require an action from me. For me, it's no longer something that's passive. And I understand the appeal. I really do. The the concept of making money while doing nothing is super appealing. But when I say that, looking for a way to do nothing and make money... How does that feel in your body? Immediately, when I tune in, that feels icky. It doesn't feel right. Because the whole money is just a value. That's just a value exchange. So when I do something for someone else, I, I create a value exchange. And, and in some of those value exchanges, the way that happens is, and the way that's facilitated is through them paying me to do something. And so when I tune into myself and go, I'm going to do nothing and money is just going to flow to me, doesn't really ring true. Now, it sells great in the marketing. Like You see people selling it all the time. Create a passive income stream in your business. Yeah, eventually it might become something that recurs, something that comes in regularly without you having to do too much, but it's never going to be nothing. It's never going to be nothing. And so when something in your body feels niggly, when you tune in with yourself and that it sounds pretty good, but it feels off, it's likely too good to be true. It really is likely too good to be true. Because if I gave you a million dollars today, I said, hey, here, have a million dollars. You would 
need to go and do something with that million dollars. Like if you just held on to the million dollars in your hands, it would slowly depreciate because inflation. So you would have to go and do something with it to create an income stream. There's no income stream of that million dollars. You could spend it, obviously. You could take $100,000 over the next 10 years and spend it. That's not generating an income stream. That is not passive income. That was a gift. <laughs> and you're going to have to go and do something with it. So you're either going to already have some knowledge or you're going to have to go and acquire some knowledge to do something with it. That's an action. You're going to have to make some decisions based on that knowledge you've acquired. You're going to have to make some decisions. Should I put it in the bank? When I put it in the bank, what sort of bank account should I put it in? Should I put it with an uh, investment fund? Which investment fund should I put it with? Who should I let manage my money? Uh, should I put it in some other form of investment? Crypto, property. There are so many options for you, but you're going to have to make some decisions about what to do with it. Also an action. And then once you've done that, then you're going to want to monitor the results. Because if you want it to consistently bring you an income, you're going to want to make sure it's working. And then when you're monitoring the results, you're going to continue to make decisions about what to do. Should I keep that house that I was renting out? Or is it not a good return on investment? Or has the capital gone up so much that I should cash out of it? Should I leave my money in those stocks and shares? Or are they no longer growing at the speed that they were growing and I want to do something else? Or have they stopped being income producing shares? Have they stopped paying out dividends because they are building their capital value now? And I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I'm not an expert in property and I'm not an expert in stocks and shares. So I would have to go and learn a whole lot of stuff or I have to pay someone else to help me do it. Those are actions. When I think about people selling this simple steps or this framework or this template to make a passive income stream in your business, it feels like a huge red flag to me because I don't think anything's set and forget in your own small business. If you set and forget it, it will forget about you. <laughs> when something is working, it, you're going to have to keep checking in and making sure it's working. There is nothing passive about making sure that something continues to work. I think when someone starts talking about this, I think you should run in the other direction fast. Can you make it easier to create income? Yeah, absolutely. Can you put things in place that mean that making sales or making continuous sales or having recurring income in your business become easier? Absolutely. Can you make income with less of your investment of time and focus and energy? Absolutely. Can you leverage your income to make more income? Yes, of course you can. Of course you can. But every single option there requires you to take action. I think it's really important that we stop thinking there's an easy way to do this. I don't think that it always has to be hard. I just don't think that there's a shortcut that doesn't come with costs. I think what really happens when people tell you that you should have a passive income stream in your business is that you look at yourself and you go, oh man, I'm not good enough. I'm not doing a good enough job. I'm not doing it right because my business isn't passive. It requires me to do something. The reality is that even to win the lotto, if I want to win lotto on Wednesday night or Saturday night here in New Zealand, I have to take an action. I'm not going to win it unless I go and buy a ticket. And so when we know that to be true about the lottery, why would you let someone on the internet tell you that you can have a form of income in your business without any action at all. It will not be passive. It will require something from you. You can absolutely build something that will make sales while you sleep. I'm not saying that is not possible. I know plenty of people in business that have done that. But before that happens, you're going to have to build something. You're going to have to build a product or a service that people want. You're going to have to build a functioning sales machine that enables it to sell when you're not there selling it. You're going to have to build a marketing machine that brings people in. Now, that might be as simple as my product's so good, everybody talks about it and they refer it, and that's totally cool, but you still have to build that. And then once the sale happens, something has to happen behind that. The product or the service has to be delivered. Now again, you might be able to do that with a lot less of you in the later years than you do maybe in the first 12 months, but you're going to have to deliver it. If I buy something from your website and I never get the service or I never get the product, I'm going to come knocking, I'm going to come looking for my money back. Most customers won't. 
then you have to ensure that it happens consistently. So if you can build a sales system and you can deliver your product or service and you can do that consistently, you will get to a place where you have a beautiful leveraged business that will make sales while you sleep. The reality is though, all of those things are in action and it won't stay working. And it won't stay working because we live in a dynamic world that is constantly evolving and constantly changing. The external environment is changing. The technologies that we build our businesses upon is constantly changing. The people that you are selling to, the people that are looking at your product are constantly changing and evolving. The environment they're living in is changing and evolving. It's never just set and forget. It's never passive. I want you to understand that you need to go out and take action because that's where the magic happens. Taking action, reviewing, realigning, and then taking action again. Not in some passive, magical passive income stream. I cannot create a passive income stream for you. I don't know how. Everything that I have ever created has required effort, learning, time, focus, energy, or money from me investing either in myself or someone else to be able to help me do it. If you're looking for passive income, you're not going to find it here. If you're in your small business looking to build a passive income, there is going to be some action taking beforehand. I can say to you that if your business is one of your highest life priorities, if it's something that really truly matters to you, giving away your power, being passive in that area, I don't think it's going to serve you. It's where I've got all of my regrets. I am not passive in my parenting. I'm not passive in my intimate relationship with my husband. I'm not passive in my business. I'm definitely not passive in my relationship with myself or in my wealth building. All of those things matter to me and I am active in all of them. I am taking action in all of them. Sometimes it's a season for learning. Sometimes it's a season for efforting. Sometimes it's a season for maintaining. And all of those require me to be active in them. If you want to come join the Moxie movement, we do this by being active, by taking actions that serve us, that are aligned with our highest life priorities, by holding on to our power and not giving it away to anyone. Because for me, anything that's passive is a big red flag because it means you're being pushed and pulled by external factors rather than being deliberately taken where you want to go. When you deliberately decide the life that you want to build, when you deliberately decide who you want to be and show up as, when you deliberately decide the type of business you want, that's when you become a woman in total control of herself who is part of the Moxie movement, who is a glorious exception because she's building a business that serves her. Until next time, stay Moxie.